Good morning everyone from the Ayata Resort in the Maldives. It is such a beautiful morning and we actually have a really special morning planned. So right now our butler is bringing us a floating breakfast to be enjoyed in the pool. And I believe they're setting it up inside right now so I'm very excited. Looks like we've got some fruits, some orange juice, some cereal, eggs benedict, and a basket of pastries. All right guys, just finished up with breakfast, feeling super full. And our favorite way to work off the food and get our digestion going is to go for a little hot lap of the island. Almost ate it. Oh gosh. All right, let's go. This right here is the entrance to the dive kingdom. It's basically the center for all water sports and scuba diving, which is a specialty in the Maldives. Shall we keep going? This right here is the entrance to the Ayata Spa. Michael and I spent a very blissful couple hours here doing a nice little spa treatment. This might be my favorite part of the island. Welcome to Mount Ayata, the highest point on this island at 2.5 meters. Pretty crazy. Should we climb up it? View is amazing up there. <laughs> okay, now let's go check out the game center. We've got a ping pong table, a pool table, PS4 over there. So many fun games. There's a gym. There is a pool where you can play chess. Welcome to the Ayata Secret Garden where they grow herbs, vegetables, and fruits. And this garden sustains a lot of what we eat at the Ayata Resort. So I had a secret garden salad with my breakfast this morning. It was delicious. All the veggies came from right where we're walking through. Right now we're at the front beach of the Ayata Island. There is a very idyllic hammock right behind me where you can relax with your feet in the ocean. So over there is the dock where you go in and out of the island. All right, now we're at Zero Degree, which is another restaurant as well as the main pool area. So this is the sunset part of the island. There's also a really cool floating dock over there where you can swim up to and just hang out in the ocean. There's the floating dock over there. That's all. <laughs> so this island isn't particularly huge, but it is big enough where you definitely feel like you could do some exploring. And the best way to get around this island is by bike. You can bike to any point in this island and be there in less than a couple minutes. So now we are headed back to our overwater villa and I definitely worked up a bit of a sweat biking around in this long sleeve shirt, so I think we're gonna go hop in the ocean and um, enjoy the beautiful snorkeling just right out front. Having steps that go straight into the ocean is so convenient for snorkel purposes. So I've got all my gear, and I'll see you out in the water.
So we have been having some very relaxing downtime since we went snorkeling, but we are feeling fresh now. We reapplied sunscreen. You can't even see Michael's face anymore. He's completely covered in sunscreen. But we are off on a little surf trip to a nearby surf spot. So that's where we're heading now. We've got all our stuff packed up, boards, water housing, GoPro, so I can take you guys along with me. I know Michael's stoked and itching to go, so um, let's get yeah, let's just go. <laughs> I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no guts and no glory. How did I get so dizzy thinking of you? I don't usually get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Like it, like this Get 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 like it, like it, like this Reminded of how I met you Tried to catch you falling Hey guys, so it is almost 6 p.m. and um, we're pretty tired from a very long day out in the ocean. It's been fun, but the day is not over yet. <laughs> we, still, we still have a lot of fun things left to do. We've changed into our dinner outfits. And at 6 p.m. there is a fish feeding at the dock. It's super cool. We saw it the first night that we got here. Oh my girl's just yawning like crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's where we're off to now. We're going to go feed the fishies and then maybe go to our favorite little wine and cheese bar right down the way before dinner. The only little wine and cheese bar. The only little wine and cheese <laughs> bar, but it's really good and it's right across from our villa. Shall we? Go. All right, we're at the dock. Had a bit of a hiccup because my flowy pants got caught in the spokes of the bike and it was a whole thing. Two Maldivian guys had to come and rescue me basically, but pants are, are back tattered. on. My pants are completely tattered and ripped, but at least they're out of the bike. Anyway. It's the second time. It's the second time today. that's happened today. I can't wear any more flowy long things with the bike. It's just not that happening. Anyway, we are at the dock where the shark feeding is going on. Luckily, oh. that debacle didn't make us too late. It's a bunch of them. So, all good. <laughs> this is the resident stingray. He's here every single evening. And this whole area fills up with sharks as soon as you start throwing pieces of meat in there. All right, here goes.
are those little baby sharks. I want to take one home with me. They're like this big. So, so oh, cute. Look at how small that one they're is. They're so small. <laughs> so much fun. You saw one of the big ones today when we were diving. Yeah, a little sketch. You're freaked out. Little sketch. So now we are off to the wine and cheese bar. Hooray. Although I don't know what I'm going to do about the bike situation with my pants. Walk? Maybe we'll just walk. You can walk. You're gonna walk with me. No, I'll just tie those up. No worries. Yeah, I'm scared. Oh, little baby. Uh, ooh, little baby shark! Everywhere. <laughs> de Joy, Island of Joy, which is literally right across the way from our villa and it's a wine and cheese bar that's open at sunset. What's so. more joyous than a sunset and cheese and wine? Honestly, not that much. And bread. <laughs> so there's a beautiful sunset happening right around us and we just ordered a couple of glasses of wine to enjoy with some cheese right before dinner. The um, benches are super cute. They're uh, Maldivian boat benches. <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of our new spot. Our daily routine, if you will. Breakfast first, or you ready? Yeah. Yeah. I can't extra for you. We got some hefty pours. That smells good. Cheers. This restaurant is definitely aptly named Ocean Breeze. Mm. Warm Ocean Breeze. It's nice. It's salty. Anyway, we just ordered our food. We got a lobster spaghetti and a caprese and some soup. Mm, apparently some breads. And some breads. <laughs> Bread. Oh. Cheese. Honestly, I'm really full from our wine bar. Try the beetroot. So we're back at the villa and I just realized that I forgot our room key. Luckily, Michael is brave enough to get in the water and swim over to our villa and let us in. I would never, but he is. It's pitch black dark and he is going to swim. Thanks, Michael. What a champ. Uh, make sure you know which villa is ours. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> it's so dark. Goodbye. All right, I'll guide you with my voice. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no. Hi, Michael. I guess I just have to wait here at the front door and hope that he makes it. Yay, we made it into the villa. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you, Mike. I heard you scream. Uh, I hit something. Was it scary? What'd you hit? An animal? No, I just think Or I a pillar. Hit the reef. It's a little scary, TBH. 
just pitch black out there. All right, you guys, that was a super fun and long eventful day. I had an amazing time and I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you all in my next Maldives vlog. Good night.